Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. So this is the third video of um, back to school sale that I do. So you had BFS combos, then super ultralight and ultralight combos, and now the terminal and lures that you need for all of them. So this is the homepage from Aliexpress right now. If you click on the back to school, you will have up top your discounts and on the bottom, the things that Aliexpress is trying to pushing you to buy. And with that said, I don't want to make it very long because I said the other ones will not be that long and they were about 20 minutes each. So starting with line, uh, let's see, not this page. So cheap and cheerful, it's the way. And this is basically what you get for cheap and cheerful, a very, very serviceable line for under four euros. So you can get it from 0 0.4 to 0 0.6 and 0 0.2. I actually use 0 0.2, I think, on the Polar Night. I'm not sure. And it worked. The last time, the other two spools I had were crap or crapped on me. And these ones are working perfectly. So probably they improved on the key C on the factory. So with that said, this is my recommendation for budget line uh, braid in this case. And if you want something fancier, I've been using this, not this, this is thinner. Basically, if you want thinner line, you can use the Zukibo, Zukibo Laser Nano that goes up until 0 0.053, which is lie probably. Um, it's, you can only have it in white, but it's very, very thin. I have some of them, I think on my kingdom micro monster it's a very very serviceable line i will not say it's the best but it works and you can get it on very very thin under five pound braid it's a very very thin braid actually my favorite line right now it's this one lsp thunder storm not thunder shock as i always call it for some reason pro 2 so you can get it uh, on 0 0.12 millimeter or 0 0.6 and it's an awesome rod. It's co wax coated or, or whatever you can call it. It's coated. It's a bit on the expensive side, but one thing I will tell you, it will last you longer than the micro fly. The micro fly after some point will get fluffy. So the fibers start to get fluffy. And when you have tension on your spool, on your wheels, it will start to grab on itself like like this and it will if especially if you're on lighter stuff it will hinder your cast i would say uh, i'm an intensive user i use a lot my pure lure silver feather and i would say it lasts me six months no four months before it starts to getting a bit clinchy and this one, it's uh, since it's waxed, it's supposed to last longer. I will do a end of the roundup, but it it casts farther than the um, micro monster. I can tell you that. But enough of braid. I actually find fluoro on AliExpress that it's worth it. It's the Turonoi Explorer. And you can get it very, 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 very low um, weight. It's a 35 meter bob, um, spool. So 5 euros for a 35 meter. Not that cheap. Um, if you have sourced a good fluorocarbon, don't bother with this. I'm just putting because you may not have access to good fluoro depending on type of stores that you have around you. So... The 0 0.8 is 0 0.8. It's actually uh, three pounds. It's 1.44 kilos. Two pounds, maybe. I think it's two pounds. So 0 0.14 millimeter on, di on diameter. 
but if you want the good stuff they also have it um, it's 50 meters I think the spool uh, you can have it beginning on 4 pounds so 0 0.17 and it's basically fluoro from Daewa it's pretty good and you have this thing over here that will if you even if you put a pencil through the spool when you pull it it will sp spun the spool and drag the line and you will always have tension so it's even if you want to take this out because this alone will cost one euro on, on aliexpress if you want to buy this uh, elastic band with this o-ring on it just to spool your um, your lines in uh, so but this you can get on your store if you have it maybe it will be cheaper i don't know this one it's oh it has a store coupon so it will give you one 30 euros off every 22 stay uh with very very uh open eyes to these uh, coupons over here so this red thing under the price just click it and see whatever more coupons you can get on your purchase uh continuing on snaps uh these are the ones that i recommend because are the only ones that go to four zeros they are actually very very small i can use these ones even though i, I will use uh, fly snaps on the winter because i don't have as much sensitivity on my fingers and i will always poke myself with the pointy ends of the snaps i will use fly snaps on the winter but on the summer i can use this they are very very small actually the same size as some bigger fly snaps that i order they are very very small under one centimeter so and they fit to fit through nifuk so pretty good they are from outkit very very inexpensive one euro and 58 cents for a pack of 50 another cheap thing on a big pack of 50 it's uh, this g heads for sometimes we had a difficult time finding g heads you can only have the gold uh, hook ones with i think one gram and 1.5 gram and then you have the spin polar ice jigs but they are not round they are sort of swimming and uh, soft plastic will always stay flat on the bottom these ones are a bit different you get 50 as i told you and you have um five weights and i think all of them uh will be a size um eight or a size six hook so the 45 gram or the four gram will be a size eight and everything over one gram will be a size six hook so pretty cool and you get i think five colors yes so white orange black pinkish and chartreuse so very very good deal for four euros in, four euros in 65 cents and it's a choice item so fast delivery uh, and free shipping over 10 euros so nice find that i got i think last month on uh, aliexpress uh, now the finicky stuff so this is not as cheap but it's basically a very 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 small hook with a tungsten ball attached to it that you can use for very very small soft plastics i will feature some small soft plastics that uh, they have in here but basically you will need hooks like this or you will need to make uh, ones yourself with uh, G, uh, nymph hooks and uh, tungsten beads either way this one it's a lot less hassle and they are not that expensive because it's tungsten tungsten it's always expensive and now uh, chub weights i don't use i think that i remember i did some texas rigs small texas rigs but i don't use it i prefer to use chub weights they are uh i don't need to have anything pre-made i just grab a, a chab weight so this one's a lower that you can get it's two grams because it's lead it's from meredith it's a pack of 10 and they are very very inexpensive you grab the weight that you want 
you grab the EWG or straight hook that you want, put everything together and hold it on your snap and you are ready to go some sort of Texas rig. I know that the uh, hook will not go because you are not uh, having the weight running through the line but either way it will work. And you have the fancy ones from Super Continente that I think are five a pack and it, uh, they will run you for 339 but it, you can go under one gram and it's actually I know so uh, how can I explain you the same size as the head of a pin the 75 uh, 0.75 gram one so very 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 if you are fishing very very shallow and you want to a movable hook or you you're using small TPE so floating plastics you can get this one uh, it's a five pack for the um, 75 gram it's under four euros so not that expensive and also a choice item and if you want only one gram you can get this pack of 10 which is cheaper again everything is linked below by order that they appear on screen um, and now about the hooks also from super continent you have these straight hooks that grow from size 10 i think to size 2 yes 26 millimeters so 2 inches uh, something like that um, this is if you want to swim a worm or something like that with the exposed hook you can use these ones a straight chunk and they have a barb and uh, some EWGs that I like to fish with cross because if you are on BFS or even super ultralight most of your soft plastics will be slim and if they are slim you don't need a big belly on your EWG hook uh, these ones are a little bit slender and you can get it from what it is what it is so this is size 1 44 millimeters and you can get it on size 10 on 21 millimeters which is very very small but actually very nice to fish with like the crazy craw where you have 38 millimeters of space to put your hook this will be bang on the middle and if you're fishing with like 30 millimeter craws that i'm also having here um and the hooks even though they are, they are not the strongest they are sharp so if you are fishing for bass and you have a well regulated um, drag you will hook more but if you are not careful with the drag and you are like pff, trying to throw them to the moon uh, you may bend the hook I bended hooks on um, actually smaller fish than the biggest one that I caught on the same hook uh, but I bend it but I did not lose the fish so I just had to swap the, the hook afterwards um, now with soft plastics this one I featured because it's a new one it's a 20 millimeter um, soft plastic from Super Continente I say I almost have all the colors so other than blue because I don't like it I have the white I have the pink I don't have the yellow or the green because they do also don't work in here as well as the orange but I have the black I have this sort of red this sort of red this sort of green this purple this brownish this dark purple and this one and this one and this one so i bought all the colors and i've been extensively fishing with this soft plastic and i will probably do just a video on this soft plastic with some of the fish that i caught with it so stay tuned for that but continuing on so this is a brand that i got in on the last few weeks i ordered this specific color and the plastic <sighs> it's like z man it's very very it's actually the better 
a type of TP that I found on Aliexpress. It's pretty, pretty cool. And you know, with a tail like this, you will catch fish. And you can use straight hooks. You can, if you have the space to use EWG hooks, and it's actually a pretty cool looking um, lure. And since it's TP, it will stay like this on the water. So pretty enticing to fish and they have some interesting colors like this one, this one, this one also, this one and this one over here. Yeah. And you also have pink and white. So either way, pretty cool looking. I really like the plastic and also from Mukon, also the same material. You have this creature uh, lure. So you have antennas arms more antennas a tail very versatile you can take this out you can take this out you can take these ones out and make all sort of things with this one bit limited in colors but you have the ones that you need you have natural you have dark you have um, white you have pink and chartreuse so uh, Pretty, pretty good lure and for two euros and 55 cents for 20 pieces of TP and BFS oriented plastics. It's not that much. It's actually pretty affordable and also from Mukon. Yes, uh, I didn't put uh, so much old stuff on this video. So I'm trying to actually give you new things because you, usually you can go on the, my older sale videos and the prices will be almost the same the links will still work uh, the deals will still be there so i'm trying to put new things in so this is a crow imitation but it's 30 millimeters again 20 pieces again two euros i have the pink ones they look phenomenal and they float very well and these antennas will move with minimum a uh, uh, fish farts near this and they will move a lot so actually pretty good soft plastic after this i think i featured this one but they are deadly they are very very good uh, spoons and they are very very expensive you get six spoons uh, three of each color um, and you can get it on four different sizes and weights uh, the hook it's decent and they come on a box with pins and foam and they are under three euros so very very good price i have the 1.5 grams and the 2.5 grams they are great they work great i catch fish on them they are very very good and now an uh, inline spinner from outkit also you can get it on a very very lower weight so minimum it's 2.2 grams uh, 4 and 5.5 I have the 2.2 grams they work very very well they swim they spin uh, actually uh, because I had some spinner baits that didn't spin so this is a plus uh, for top water I've seen this um, kingdom gold pops I have the older version with one propeller I also have the one with the metal propellers on the back and now you have these ones with two versions the sinking and the floating so the floating will also have um, the open mouth so it will cause some commotion and you have the sinking version if you are fishing like from a ledge this one the sinking version could be better because you will have more control over it but this one will create two wakes the weight on the front because of the open mouth like a popper and the plopping from the propeller on the back and they are 35 millimeters very, very like this they are very very small they weigh 5.5 or 9 grams depending if you get the floating or the sinking version so for bfs and ultralight you'll probably go with the floating version either way a lot of colors to choose uh the lures from kingdom are usually pretty pretty nice and 
this should be very versatile and sh should be very deadly now on autumn for top water bite and the last items in here are the uh, these ones from Lureholic. they appear to me on the last days i already ordered a bunch of them they are basically one gram crankbaits so this is a float the floating micro mino it says it has a mustard treble and a half set hook it will dive up to half a meter so actually good for autumn when they arrive where the water is still low and they look pretty cool with the eye, big eyes um, and they have another one uh, similar but not as not the same uh, lure but actually it's the same size and the same weight but a different format again it will drive to half a meter and also says it features mustard treble, ho mustard treble hooks these are basically what i would have new for crankbaits for jerkbaits it's a classic but i don't think i have a feature on the channel if you don't know the one of the best jerkbaits that you can get on aliexpress it's made by tsurunoya it's the 46s it's a sinking minnow it's called the intruder it's five grams and it's deadly for trout i have a lot of folks the, in Portugal that only started to use Aliexpress because these guys are very very good for trout fishing um, so you also have this one if you don't want to share the money and it's actually smaller it's a 38 millimeter 3.2 grams I've caught up with this on the spring they work fine I'm not really the f most um, pro guy for sinking uh, lures through for shop fishing but either way i also tried to catch trout i didn't catch any this year but i will start sooner next year going after trout and this will be on my bag to do it and lastly i think i featured this on i got new lures uh, one or two weeks ago it's the blux jack low basically very very inexpensive joint swim bait 70 millimeters 4.6 grams so bfs and super or in this case ultralight oriented and under six euros so very very affordable for a swim bait and this is the last item that i have so i will see you guys on my next video bye